Hey everybody, welcome back to Andrina's Creation. In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the AK Shaker gift box. Oh my God, how many of you guys was waiting for this template and it's finally here. Go ahead and over to my website, andrinascreations.com, purchase the template. Now, hold on y'all. Before purchasing this template, make sure that you read everything in that description on the website. I'll be also leaving all the links down below in this video, but before purchasing, read everything, look at the image on the website and all that before purchasing. Keep in mind, this video today is only to show you how to assemble the template. It is not showing you how to design it. Eventually, I will be providing all designing videos for each template, but again, this is only going to show you on how to put this box together. So let's get started. First things first, I know when y'all open this template, y'all be like, oh my God, Andrina, how many pieces? I'm going to show you step by step, so do not get overwhelmed. Y'all already know all my pieces are color coordinated. The light pink ones are the main base, which you're going to be using your 80 pound, 100 pound cardstock. We're going to go ahead and cut those pieces out first, and then I'm going to be explaining to you which each piece is. First, we're going to start with these two pieces that I'm showing you right here. We're going to go ahead and fold over those score marks. I am using a 100 pound cardstock you can use 8 by 11 you can use 12 by 12 it's totally up to you depending on the software that you are using make sure you go ahead and crease them um, score marks really good and then we're going to attach the smaller tab onto here just like you see here just exactly how you open the template that's exactly how you're going to be gluing all the pieces that's why i made the template just like that so you do, do not get confused so go ahead and use your favorite glue i am using my own brand of glue and genius creations crafting glue i know y'all gonna ask are we ever gonna get the glue i don't know y'all but always remember that i'm gonna leave all the links down below on where to purchase your supplies now go ahead and squeegee that really good because you want everything really attached this is going to be a really big box so you don't want nothing with um bending and coming apart and all that good stuff now go ahead and grab that other piece remember use the same colors for the entire box go ahead and fold your score marks i'm folding them um backwards and in towards me so they're more bendable and then go ahead and glue that other piece right here where i'm showing you as well A quick tip that I can give you is to make sure that you are pushing that cardstock right to the edge of that score mark. You don't want no space between each piece that you are gluing together. So I don't know if you can see me pushing with my um, right hand towards that score mark while I have the cardstock going up and making sure that everything is flush, then I squeegee everything together, okay? Now go ahead and grab that other piece once you glue this part and repeat the same steps. I just noticed that at the beginning of the video, I was showing you a different printout because I put the two, these two pieces, I put it up. So when y'all open the template, y'all knew exactly where these two pieces was. The before paper was showing you to glue it in the bottom, but no, make sure that you glue it exactly where you see me gluing here. Now, when you fold these tabs, you're going to notice that one tab is smaller than the other one. So the smaller tab is the one that you're going to glue first, as you will see me here. So one piece is going to go on the right, the other piece is going to go on the left so again the smaller tab is the one that you're going to glue right here on this part that has that opening rectangle there and remember to always flush it really good you do not want no gaps y'all because you are going to notice once you close this box Thank you. 
If you're following along with me, I want to tell you that you are doing a great job. Don't feel intimidated. Like I said, I know this box is pretty big, but if you're following every step that I'm showing you here, you're going to do amazing. So this is how the box is turning out. Now, let me show you this. We're going to grab this piece right here, which is the light pink piece, and we're going to grab this darker pink piece. Now, remember, this darker piece and this light pink piece are not the same size. That is why I color them differently. So we're going to grab that piece that is the darker pink with the opening with this piece right here that's the lighter pink. And for this piece, we're going to go ahead and fold those score marks. One of the parts is going to go towards you and the top part is going to go out. So one piece in, one piece out, just like you see me here and fold those little tabs towards you. All right. So one piece in one piece out and then we're going to go ahead and glue those tabs in the inside you can use hot glue to speed up the process All right, y'all, this is how your insert is going to look, all right? So see, it wasn't hard at all. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab this yellow rectangle from your template. This is where you're going to add an image, do a print and cut on this part. But if you do not have a printer, you can go ahead and use a paper pad from any craft store, cut out a piece and put it right here. You don't have to add nothing at all if you don't want to, but go ahead and glue that piece if you did put a design on there. And then we're going to go ahead and add that other piece and I'm going to show you how. And I know it wouldn't be me if I don't add some extra spice to this template. Let's add some lights. Of course, I'll leave the link down below of the lights that I'm going to be using. I'm going to go ahead and put them all around with some hot glue. Now, if you use these lights or whatever lights you go ahead and use, make sure that where the battery is, where it turns on, that has to remain on the top of the box so you are able to turn it on which you will see it here. When I go around with these lights, these lights go around three times and where it ends is going to end right at the top and then I'm going to glue it in the back, which you will see the whole process here. All right, once you are almost at the end of gluing everything, as you can see, I still have some wire left over, but I'm not going to glue that one just yet. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this box around and I am going to go ahead and glue this piece right in the back. Remember, it has to remain on the top to have access to turn on the lights. Put a little bit of hot glue, add it right there on the top. Once I have that secured, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the box back around and I'm going to put that wire very flush in the corner of the box, making sure that there's no extraness because remember, we still have to add the other piece of cardstock on top and you don't want all that extra wire being in the way. All right, yeah, I hope y'all cut this piece out. It was the darker pink piece that has the cut out rectangle in the middle. So that piece, we're going to go ahead and insert it right into this insert, just like you see me here doing. And then we are going to go ahead and glue those tabs onto that rectangle. So make sure you are careful that you do not rip this cardstock, but if it's, you just had to, you know, make it work just like you see me doing here. And like I said, go ahead and glue those tabs together, press everything down very good. And you're going to see what is this piece for is just to hide the tabs when you glue it to the box. Because remember, we want a professional looking gift box. We don't want to see no tabs.
all right yeah so go ahead and start cutting your acetate this is the piece of the acetate is is the gray rectangle i am going to be using this acetate that i found on my joanne's craft store i thought it was so pretty and it fits perfect with this box but i'm also going to leave um, down below the link of the acetate that i always use so i'm gonna leave this link and the regular link that I always use. While this is cutting, we are going to start gluing the insert. Remember that long piece we glued at the beginning? Go ahead and turn that around so you can see all those four tabs that we glued of the four sides. Remember, this is the side that you want, so turn it around. You need to see all those four tabs, and we're gonna go ahead and grab this insert, okay? Make sure that you glue it the right way. You want the image facing up. As you can see, this is the top of the box. That's how you know that is the top. You want your image facing up. You see that light box right there is also on the top, okay? So you see that long piece, the rectangle, that is going to be um, covering all those tabs. Because remember, we want a professional looking gift box and we're going to go ahead and cover everything up. Make sure that you center everything correctly and everything's going to look beautiful. Please remember to glue this box the correct way because you do not want to restart the box all over again. And now the fun part begins. Start adding anything you want in here. I'm adding jewelry beads. I'm adding confetti, sequins, um, flakes, pearl beads, um, two beads from twomaylilies.com. You name it. Like I said, there is no right or wrong on what you're going to add here. I don't recommend adding glitter because it's going to be um, stuck to your acetate. So use like little flakes and sequins. You can find some at Dollar Tree, Michaels, Joann's, like I said, Too May Liddy's, Hobby Lobby, you name it. Wherever you find stuff, you can add nail decorations in here. Um, you can add clay beads, whatever you want. Just add whatever you want in here. Like I said, I do not recommend glitter though. So do not add glitter. You can add as much as you want or as little as you want on here here after you put all these items inside now you're going to go ahead and add your acetate sheet the spoon that i'm also using here is also from twomaylilies.com i think it's they're so pretty and she has a variety of spoons they just help better to grab all your sequins and add in here okay so now i'm going to show you that i'm going to be using double-sided tape to speed up the process i'm going to be using this brand but my favorite brand is 3m double-sided tape but i'm just going to be using this brand if you do not want to use double-sided tape you can use that three-in-one beacons glue but you know you have to let it dry so again making sure that you put that tape all around the border and then you're going to add the acetate sheet that you want it is up to you which acetate sheet you chose okay like i said i did use the stars one and making sure that everything seals correctly when you add the acetate because you don't want nothing coming out of there after you add the acetate sheet we're going to go ahead and over to the next step go ahead and cut out all the teal pieces from your template those teal pieces are going to be your first layer you can use glitter cardstock metallic cardstock even if you want to just use solid cardstock it doesn't matter this holographic cardstock i got from michael's craft store is the 8 by 11 size because again you can use 8 by 11 cardstock for this one for the first piece right here, you need to make sure that you align it correctly with the opening. When you're going to go ahead and glue this piece, do not just um, squeegee it from the top because you do not want to bend the box. Go ahead and turn the box around and squeegee it from the bottom so you don't put so much force on those score marks and accidentally break your box, all right? So anytime you want to put pressure on gluing anything, just turn the box around. Go ahead and glue all your teal pieces all around, again, your metallic or your glitter
after you are done gluing all those uh, teal pieces we're going to go ahead and move on to the lavender pieces so the lavender pieces are your design you can do a print and cut now depending on the software that you're going to be using it might not let you do a print and cut it does fit on the 8x11 but if you're using Cricut design space because of the printing limitations it's going to stop you from printing on 8x11 so it's going to ask you to use a larger paper i'm personally using the koala 11 by 17 paper and i am using silhouette studio if you do not have a printer you can just use decorative cardstock okay once you do your print and cut or cut whatever design you chose from a decorative cardstock go ahead and start gluing the pieces on top of your first layer and make sure that you are centering everything correctly I don't think I told y'all where I got my design from. I got my design from Creative Fabrica. I highly recommend if you want to print from home and using um, beautiful digital paper and beautiful designs, check out Creative Fabrica. I'm going to leave my affiliate link down below and also the link of this specific digital paper that I use. Like I said, I use Creative Fabrica almost every day on all of my orders. Like I said, I highly recommend it. I mean, the fonts, the designs, the SVGs, they're beautiful. All right, we're almost, almost there, y'all. Now it's time to start closing the box up. You see how beautiful everything's looking? Go ahead and turn everything around, and we are going to go ahead and start gluing them tabs to start closing the box up. As you can see, I'm going to place it upside down, and then we're going to go ahead and grab these two tabs in the bottom part. We're going to fold it, add glue of your choice, and then you're going to make sure that you glue it right here on that other piece, and you, the number one thing is again to line up your score marks so your box closes correctly you will see everything here when i do it on the screen All right, on the template, we still have two pieces. I'm going to say these two pieces are optional, but I prefer for y'all to glue them. I am. So if you grab that smaller rectangle that is the darker pink, that piece is to hide these tabs. Again, you don't have to, but I recommend it. It makes the box sturdier and you hide those tabs. So just go ahead. When you glue um, this part of the box, go ahead and add that bottom piece if you do want to add that extra insert right there to hide those tabs once you glue that piece right there you're going to go ahead and squeegee everything together and now we're going to go ahead and glue the other two tabs on the bigger part of the box which you will see everything like i said on the screen of course
if you are gluing this extra piece um, in the inside of the box, make sure that you do not see it on the outside of the box. That piece that we just put in the inside is actually smaller. That is why I color coordinated darker. So you do not get confused with both pieces. Now, once you insert that, go ahead and use your squeegee to make everything sure that is glued to the tabs correctly. And after this, guys, you are done with the box. Oh, don't be like me and when you insert, if you are adding lights to your box, make sure that you remove that tab because it was so much hassle removing the tab after it was in the inside. But again, you are done with the box. Go ahead and close it up. And you see, guys, it was not that hard. It wasn't hard at all, to be honest. But close your box and you're going to see how beautiful it turned out. If you want to spice this box a little bit more, go ahead and do a cutout. I am doing a cutout of a name. You can do any name. You just type whatever you want to type on your software, click at the Science Space or Silhouette Studio, and create different offsets. Now, I'm doing very small offsets, and each offset, I am cutting that piece out four times. I learned this technique from TJ's Magic Touch. Go ahead and check out her channel. Um, so it could be just stickers. So like I said, I first typed the word baby and then I created an offset, I think three to four times, but each piece I cut it out four times just so it could be thick. And then I'm gluing that on top of each other. Again, my offsets are very small as you can see, just because I just want a little bit that you can see of each color. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue this on top of my box. Now you can do a, another printing cut of an image, a name, whatever you want, just be creative and create this box very beautiful. All right, now we are finally done, y'all. Look how beautiful this gift box turned out. Now I'm going to show you that depending on how you put the image, you can have the image standing up like this. You can have it vertically or horizontally, it doesn't matter. Um, and then if you have it up like this, you're going to open it from the side, not from the top, because depending on how you put the image, then you would just insert everything from your gift like this on the side. But again, this is optional. You can do whatever you want. The possibilities are endless. But yeah, this is a beautiful gift box for Halloween, Easter, bridal showers, Christmas, Valentine's Day, back to school um birthdays you name it you can decorate them for whatever you want i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i know i did don't forget that i will be having a designing video coming soon before purchasing this template don't forget to please read everything in the description comment down below anything else you would like to see from me if you like this video if you didn't um, don't forget to join my free Facebook group. It's called Andrina's Creations Crafting Lounge. So I can see your beautiful work. You must answer all three questions to get approved before joining. And then you can post and ask questions over there. Um, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe because we are on a goal this year to reach 100K. Hopefully we do reach it this year. But yeah, look how beautiful this looks with the lights turned off. It is gorgeous because they can keep this as a keepsake after they take out their gift and just have it on their dresser or their living room as home decor. It doesn't matter. This is gorgeous, y'all. All right, y'all. Again, I hope everyone's having a blessed day, guys. And I'll talk to you guys soon. And stay tuned because another template is dropping soon. Bye, y'all.